So interference issues with the OBD2 CNC. Because we're pushing it um, very hard now and we're trying to extract the maximum performance and the capabilities from the very old version 1 printed circuit board which wasn't designed with any of this sort of stuff in mind, the CAN bus etc etc. Um, interference can start to rear its head and cause problems with communication or the gauge resetting etc. So what I've done on this one as you can see here is I've installed uh, two 10 nanofarad capacitors and they go from the ground to the H line and the K line. So uh, there's one capacitor on the, from the ground to the H line, there's one capacitor from the ground to the K line. So I'm going to suggest you try that. Uh, that's a, That eliminated the interference on my gauge that uh, I was experiencing. And also if that doesn't work, what you can also do is on pins, between pins 1 and 2 here, you can put a 10K resistor and that just helps to avoid spurious resets of the device. So there are two techniques that you can use. I haven't done it on this one. I've done it on one of my others. Um, for, but first of all, most of the time I found that just putting these two 10 nanofarad capacitors here uh, has, caught, has uh, stopped any spikes getting through which were causing resets. But you could equally, just tr if you've got a 10k resistor to hand, you could try the 10k resistor trick before you try the capacitor trick. So there's two options. You put a 10k resistor here, or you put two 10 nanofarad capacitors here, or you can do both. Um, so that's what I've been doing, and uh, the gauges then work correctly. So I'm sorry about that, but we are trying to extract as much as we can out of them. So we've got to shoehorn a few bits and pieces on. Obviously, in the version 2 printed circuit board, all these things will be incorporated onto the new printed circuit board.